Hey guys, it's Vlogmas, Christmas Eve. Hey, how, how's everybody doing? I got a request from the wife to make my cheesecake for tomorrow, which is made in the Instant Pot. Here's what I got going. I've got a food processor, got the Instant Pot, of course. I've got a Fat Daddy-O pan with a false bottom. And you wrap that false bottom in parchment paper. I've got two bricks of cream cheese that have been sitting out for a few minutes to get them soft. Sour cream, almonds to make my crust. I'm gonna make those in the food processor over here. A stick of butter, to put in the almond crust. Because everybody knows a stick of butter is where it's at. Which half a stick, Chris? That was the whole stick. <laughs> hey, you can still add in a stick of butter. Throw that whole thing of butter right on in there. It'll be all right. Make sure to mix it all up. And that's about it. Lighting is terrible on this because I'm not using anything special. The sound is probably horrible. Let's get cooking. I'm gonna spray the pan with cooking spray so it pops out easy when we're done. So I got my two cups of almonds, I'm gonna dump them in this food processor and grind them up. A few moments later. There it is, it's finally ground. I'm gonna take this five tablespoons of butter, which is a little more than half a stick, mix it with these almonds. That's gonna be our crust. A few moments later. Is that wet sand? I think it is. Parchment lined bottom of our Fat Daddy-O pan. Now you've got to press it all down in there firm. I'm using the bottom of a round stemless wine glass because it's smooth. And you want to be sure that your crust makes a little bowl. You want it to be packed in there pretty firm, but you want it to come up on the edges a little bit. Just because it makes for a better looking piece of cake at the end. That's how that looks. Now I'm gonna pop this in the freezer while I make the, make the uh, cheesecake part. Put that in there for a few minutes. Now I'm gonna make the cheesecake part. Cream cheese, I've got my sour cream, and erythematol, or whatever they call that stevia substitute, because this has to be healthy, keto friendly. Sugar is not part of the equation. So for the filling, we're gonna put in, we're gonna put in an entire cup of Daisy sour cream. Of course, it could be any sour cream, but this is the stuff they make here in our town, so we like it. Two bricks of cream cheese. Come on, get off of there. Erythritol, whatever it is, sugar substitute, stevia. It's one third, another third. Two beet eggs. vanilla, a pinch of salt, and all that goes into here. A few moments later. Now get my cheesecake crust out. Dump all this into the That's that. Now this is ready to go. Beautiful. Got the uh, trivet in the bottom. I'm gonna add one cup of water to the bottom of it. I'm gonna set my cheesecake on this handy dandy silicone holder I've got. That has little handles that snap together like that. Pick the whole thing up and put it down in there. And that's all she got to do. Some people cover it with foil. I don't do it. Doesn't take much to get the water off the top. Put that in, seal it up. Set the lid to sealing, the little thing on top. Then come down here and say manual. And we go 28 minutes. It's actually going to take about 10 minutes for it to heat up. So I figure in about I don't know, 40 minutes? We'll be ready to pop this sucker up. And in the meantime, I'm gonna make the topping, which is sour cream, sugar, and blueberries. This is the topping. This is just half a cup of sour cream and two tablespoons of erythritol. A few moments later. It's just sour cream and sugar is all it is.
Ladies and gents, we have cheesecake. I'm gonna let it natural release for 10 minutes. Flip the vent so it lets the pressure out. When it lets the pressure out, it drops that little stopper. And that means it's okay to release it. This is hot. And there we go. Cheesecake are us. So I'm going in and there's a little bit of water on top of this. I'm just have a little piece of paper towel and just soak up whatever's there. Just a little bit, it's not enough to worry about. I'll take it out in a few seconds. So I've got my sour cream and sugar, sorry, sour cream and stevia mixture. A little topping. Blueberries, just randomly dump them on top. There you go. So we're going to take this, set it off in the fridge. Did you see that? Are you kidding me? Oh my God! What a mess! Damn it! Two hours later. Boy, that was some fun, huh? I had to go to the grocery store and get all new stuff. I went and got two new things of cream cheese, more butter, cleaned up this mess that was here in the fridge. All that stuff's cleaned up. So for the second try, I am going to put the camera down before I put the cheesecake in the fridge. I'm not gonna go through all those steps again. And now it's 2.30 on Christmas Eve. I started this at 11.30 today. Shouldn't take this long. Happy Vlogmas, y'all. Hey Siri. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes and counting. So that's gonna sit for 10 minutes in natural release. Then we'll bust it open and we'll carefully put it in the fridge. Okay, we're ready to do this again. Very careful this time. That's what it's supposed to look like. Chilling. Chilling like a villain until tomorrow. Merry Christmas, everybody. One eternity later. Merry Christmas morning, guys. Let's see how we did with our second round of cheesecake. Carefully take it out and don't drop it this time, dummy. Success. I can't believe that happened. All right, so I got a spatula and a big glass. What you do is you take this rubber thing to the side. You put your cheesecake on top. It's got this top of false bottom. You pry it off this bottom part, off the parchment. You plate it up. Beautiful. We're all ready for Christmas. I was very careful to use two hands to put it in the fridge and not have to carry the vlogging camera while I put it in there, so. So that's how I saved Christmas. Sorry, that's how I almost ruined Christmas. And it ended up working out. So anyway, hope everybody's having a great day. Vlogmas day 25. I think this is gonna be my last one. If you got something out of this, go ahead and hit the like button. Click subscribe and hit that bell if you want to get notified when I post something new. Merry Christmas everybody and happy Vlogmas 2020. Thanks for watching.